Surely I know what some of you might be thinking right now. Wow, what a beautiful black car. And you'd be right. Black is one of the best colors you can get on your car, but it's also one of the hardest to keep clean. And that's why a lot of people don't buy black cars. Now, if you look really closely on my paint, on my black car in specific, you're gonna see a lot of scratches and swirls on it. So in this video, what we're going to attempt to do is remove all those swirls and scratches from the paint. I'll make sure I leave a link down in the description for the products I use. And I'll also be sure to show you guys the end result in this video. And I'll also let you guys know what I thought of these products and if they're worth buying or not. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So here's an overview of the products that we're gonna be using. First, we're gonna start with the buffer pad I chose to use. It's made by Torque. In fact, it comes in this kit that you buy from Chemical Guys. It also comes with Chemical Guys' unique foam hex pad. No surprise, the polisher I'm using is also made by Chemical Guys. It's called their Scratch and Swirl Remover. It claims it will be able to remove the scratches and swirls out of my paint. It actually smells like blueberries, so it makes the entire detail process a lot funner. Now, while I'm applying the polisher to the pad, I'm also going to be applying their polishing pad conditioner. This stuff is supposed to keep the pad moist and wet, so it doesn't create more swirl marks on the paint while you're trying to detail it. Bottom line, guys, with that, make sure you stay lubed up. Finally, once we're done polishing the car, we're gonna be finishing it off with the Hydro Wax ceramic coating stuff. I don't know whether to call it a wax or a ceramic coat, but I've used it before. It's very hydrophobic and it makes your paint look great. The bottle alone will set you back about 70 bucks, but I really think it's worth every penny. Now to tackle this job, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Real quickly here, I'm just gonna show you some parts of the paint. You know, the paint looks good on camera and everything, but when you really zoom in, you can see all the swirls and the scratches that are really in the paint, so. I do think it's important to note that while I'm doing this, I'm not forcing the pad down on the car. I'm letting the weight of the pad sit on the car and I'm simply guiding it along. If you force too hard, you're probably going to create more scratches. of what we're working with now. Now this is the same spot we were in. Let me go ahead and zoom in here. Focus. Okay. This stuff's not no miracle worker, right? You still see some little imperfections in the paint. I actually can't even get it to focus on any little imperfections now. Now the imperfections in the paint, they're dramatically improved. Um, they are still there. I mean, it's a black car, so this is almost an impossible thing to do here. But the paint looks much healthier here. My paint by no means was any good, especially on the hood. I'm not sure what the previous life of this hood was, but it had so many swirls in it. It even has a couple deeper scratches in it, kind of like over here. Um, I'd have to take a little bit of time to locate it. Um, once again, swirl remover conditioner, it helped with it. It hasn't completely removed them, but it looks a heck of a lot better now. This whole process is both strangely annoying, but very, very satisfying. Like I definitely only have this like in me every like once or maybe, maybe twice a year, if it's a good year. <laughs> because otherwise, this is just very, very, annoying. I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up, but there's plenty of imperfections in this bumper. The front bumper and the hood are easily the worst on this car. Thank you. 
One thing I can say about all these products is they smell so freaking good that it's making me hungry. It smells like blueberries or something. Definitely a workout. I was gonna hit back and buy today. I don't know if there's a need for it anymore. All right guys, and with that, we have applied the polish to every square inch of this car. And I gotta say, it's got it looking very, very good. It's no miracle worker. Now there are a couple scratches, swirls that were already in the paint that I could not get out. Here's some real directed reflection. Now the camera's not picking up most of this. Not that there's much to pick up. This car does look beautiful right now. This car had rock chips on the hood and the bumper um, quite a bit. Obviously, it's not gonna be able to do anything about some rock chips. Go back to the side here where we saw a lot of the swirls originally. I mean, really, they are, they are basically all gone. Um, I'm getting as close to it as possible. With my naked eye, I can pick up just a little bit of swirling. But really guys, this stuff did a fantastic job on it. So now it's time to go back over it with this Hydro Wax Ceramic Coat thing from Chemical Guys. Let's seal that and get it real nice and shiny. I currently have the buffer set at the lowest speed possible. I'm being a little lazy and I'm using a buffer pad um, for the wax, even though I probably really don't need to. Now you are supposed to let this um, hydro wax stuff sit for a couple of minutes before you go and wipe it off. This is so glistening, it's not even funny. This is after applying that hyper wax slash ceramic coat. And it is, wow, just look at that. It is absolutely reflective. I'm at a curve here, so it's making it hard to you know, just reflect like a mirror. Now for the front half of the car. All right, here we go. It's now nighttime. This is the harshest lighting here for it. I'm also gonna take it out in the daytime here and have you guys get a shot of it in the sunlight too. See what that looks like. And not under these uh, poor lighting conditions with just one fluorescent light here, so. What's up guys, it's the next day after the full detail. Once again, to go over it, we did the full polish, scratch remover, and then we followed that up with the Hyper Wax Ceramic Coat. Now I do wanna preference something really quickly. Um, I kinda messed up. I went to the gym earlier this morning. I forgot I have a black car. 
and you can't really do that. So don't mind the contaminants and dust particles that are already on the paint because, well, maybe my eye is just picking them up because you can't really see them in this shot. But there is a lot of dust and everything on the car right now. The sun's hitting it. Yeah, you see some of the dust on the paint right there and the contaminants. But as you can tell, the direct sunlight, it did a pretty darn good job of removing the swirls. Um, now there are still swirls there. Um, they are way less visible now though. Again, ignore some of the uh, dust particles and stuff on here. And then of course the best part after all that, you are just completely reflective in the paint after all that. Here, let me get out of the sun glare. Like, hi. So like I said before, I'd probably rate these products like an eight out of 10. Definitely recommend you do it. Um, the paint looks really healthy now. It's still got a little bit of swirling, like I said, but it really brought out more of a sparkle in the paint coat as well too. That's gonna do it for this somewhat comprehensive detail video on some of those Chemical Guys products. Once again, I'll leave those products in the description below if you want to try them out for yourself. Just in case you missed it, I am doing a giveaway for 2,500 subscribers. I will pick one of you subscribers to win $100 from yours truly for being subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate you guys and that's the only way I could think of giving back. Come on, who wouldn't want 100 bucks, you know? I still have the axle back that I need to get fabricated, but that will be for another video. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys later.